Body, baby. Hello guys, so it's quite windy today. Also not a very good day in the in the household. Naji got a cold. Um, so I showered and left the house. I was actually uploading a vlog for you um, a second video for you guys, but I can't stay for it to finish uploading. Otherwise I'm gonna catch the cold because I can feel myself getting cold and whatever. So to combat that, I am going to a Japanese, I think it's a Japanese like takeaway restaurant, like a McDonald's fast food restaurant that is literally opposite the hotel. I've been wanting to try their noodles for a while now, but Nonji and Kanya were not keen. So I told you guys that I'm a foodie and I love my food. Wait, I'm just checking what's going on. Alright, just a quick, the mirror is dirty, just a quick OOTD. So this is what I'm wearing, this shirt that's that's basically Coca-Cola branded but it says Chow Bali, I got it yesterday at the shop, I have these um, Levi's shorts and these Nike sneakers and this bag, I think you've seen this quite a couple of times and my earrings are from Lovisa. Yeah, so I'm out of the lift now. So. It's a quite awkward to vlog in public, I must say. But today I'm gonna brave it out and try. As you can see, I'm passing people and they're looking at me, but we don't care. So I'm gonna go. We actually, I forgot to tell you, we ordered. It's quite windy, so I don't know if you can hear me. We ordered. We ordered um, smoothies, green smoothies, like vitamin C juices and whatever, because we are trying to combat the flu. And so we're waiting for that food. So while we're waiting for the smoothies, I'm gonna go get the takeaway lunch. Not lunch, but like, it is lunch actually, because it's like 12 maybe. I forgot my sunglasses. How am I gonna survive? It's quite confusing. Okay. I'm going in the wrong direction, I think. Yeah, so I'm just gonna brave out the streets. I'm gonna do my vlog. No, I don't think I'm going in the right direction. Okay, but first let me go to the chemist because I'm actually looking for meds for baby girl so that she gets better and she doesn't need to Okay. Oh, no, this is not. <laughs> This is not the chemist, it's actually, it's actually the supermarket, so it's fine, I'm gonna go get, all of a sudden I'm confused, I'm like this whole the whole time I was fine, it's just now that I'm starting to become, guys when you're vlogging there you need to have some level of confidence to just walk around and not mind people watching you because a you look very stupid b you look like you're mad no thank you yeah so there's a lot of people offering you text right so just have to say no, no thanks and move on where are my needles okay when i come Well, at least I'm getting lost in the right direction. I found the pharmacy, but I'm actually looking for that Chinese noodles. Wait. Okay, so I will check in with you guys when I arrive at the restaurant because clearly you can see I'm a bit weird and we're not trying to be weird. Menu. It's called Yosh 
Chinoya restaurant. I've never heard of it before, but I'm interested because they sell Japanese food. And it's written in Japanese, I think, whatever in my opinion. That's a taking my time to do. So I'm waiting on the table. They stopped the table. They said it's like a Japanese takeaway place. While I was on the queue, I created something that I see. This meal over here, so I think I'm gonna have a regular that and the udon and a matcha ice matcha latte. I'll check in with you guys when I get the food. How do I know that the order is ready? Yeah. How do I know the order is ready? The order ready? Uh, 50 minutes. 15 minutes. For your order, I call you in number eight. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you have the option of sitting inside or outside. I chose to sit inside so that you guys can hear me better, hopefully. Um, yeah, so how the ordering worked is that I was on the queue for about 10 minutes. Um, and it's not that there were people in front of me, it's just that you, they really... So it's like a KFC, so it's quite hard for them to... There's not a lot of people, first of all, so it becomes quite hard for them to juggle the number of orders that are coming in so you almost have to wait for them to complete the, the previous order and dispatch it before they can attend to you and so I asked how long it's gonna take for my order to arrive and she said 15 minutes she's cut she's gonna call the number eight um, and then that's how I'll know my food is here on my tray are these um, chopsticks the spoon like I said, while on the queue, I decided to order something else because I was, well, it looked good, so I thought I should try it. And then I spent um, 123, which is basically, um, which includes 111,817, which is for food, and 11,182, which is for text. So yeah, that's how it works here. Yeah, the prices that you see on the menu do not include tax, so they add it afterwards. So that's just something to be on the lookout for. What I'm gonna do is that I'm going to wait and then I'll show you guys what the food looks like when it arrives. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. I've, I've always wanted to try Japanese food because it looks quite interesting and I mean, it's, it, it, the food looks so interesting that in my head I'm like I want to travel to Japan or Singapore just for the food um, Yeah, so we'll see how it goes Okay, so I just while speaking to you guys or after I spoke to you guys my number 8 was called And so I had to go and take the order and what they said was that the beef So this is a beef Let me show you. This is a beef udon um, I don't know what it is. It looks weird I genuinely don't know what this is. Okay. It looks like malana, guys. Like malana. You know malana when you when you cut them in half. It looks like that. So I don't quite know what this is. To be honest, I genuinely don't know what this is. But it looks like that. And this is the green matcha, green latte matcha. So I've also never had that. But I do know that matcha is good for you, so that's why I ordered it. And so I'm gonna try the food and then let you guys know how it goes. you need to learn how to I've realized since we arrived in Bali that you get served especially in obviously Japanese restaurants because they have the broth and the actual noodles so you use your chopsticks for the noodles and then your spoon to scoop out your broth 
which by the way tastes really really good. Mm. It's like heartwarming. Mmm, mmm. These noodles. I give it out of ten. I give it a nine. I'm very impressed considering that this is supposed to be like a takeout, like a KF's fast food, a Japanese fast food. This is good, it's so healthy. They called my number again, I need to go fetch my other meal. Hold on. Okay guys, so I just finished my udon beef noodles. This is how much of it is just the broth, but I drank the broth. I'm still drinking it. The reason I don't want to finish it all is because I still have I still have the pepper noodles to get through. Oh, it looks like they're not noodles. It looks like it's actually it looks like it's actually rice. Interesting. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like beef. But I don't know. I think they use like the fatty stuff. I think they probably use that for flavor or something. Wait. I'm, I don't like. I hate using chopsticks for rice. Let's see. Let's see my first reaction. I always watch those YouTube videos where people travel around the world for food. I'm glad I can do my own one. <laughs> it's quite spicy. Ooh. It has like an after kick. Which makes sense because they it looked like they had the same noodles but the other one was called pepper and I went for the pepper one because it had a red something. I thought it's a, a red pepper. But it may be chili actually. That red thing is not enough. Hmm. It's actually good. And these by the way are their regular portions. So there's a large. I went for regular because I have two the red stuff I saw it is definitely chili but it's so good their beef is so thinly threaded shredded I mean Ooh, guys are quite spicy So these are my bowls. As you guys can see, I cleaned them both because honestly and truly, this food bans. Like, it's first of all, I can't believe that it's a it's a like a franchise restaurant or takeaway restaurant. It's unbelievably good for a takeaway restaurant. The service here is good. I mean, they said I'll wait for 15 minutes. I didn't even end up waiting for 15 minutes. The flavors in the food did not get lost in translation or in the packaging or whatever. I think it's cheap considering the amount of things that I got. I mean, I got two full 
bowls, one with rice and one with um, noodles. And I also got a drink, which I'm a, which I'm gonna try just now. Let me actually try it while you guys are on. Then I can end this video and then you guys can know. It looks like it's a daily matcha drink. I know matcha is like some green stuff. And there's ice in it. Just show you guys. That's what it looks like. Oh my god. Wow. If I'm being actually honest, I don't think I wasted a cent on this meal. I think it was more than worth it. This matcha drink tastes like it tastes like matcha. I can definitely taste the greeny, leafy stuff that they used in it, the powder, whatever it is. It tastes like moringa. If you've ever heard moringa, it tastes similar to moringa, but it, they added milk to that. It's not sweet, like like I was worried it was gonna be. In fact, it tastes very healthy. It tastes very good, if I'm being honest. As you guys can see, my nose is a bit runny from the um, pepper rice, beef rice. But guys, I absolutely recommend this place. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Or maybe I'll give them a 9 out of 10 because I had to like wait a bit before they helped me. But like I said, it's because they don't have a lot of um, stuff working. So the same stuff that works the till is the same stuff that come back and clean and, and serve you the food and whatever. So I do think they have a lot of their place. But either than that, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. The food was breathtakingly amazing, if I'm being honest. And so guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Comment, like, and share this video if you want to. And just tell me down in the comments what you enjoyed the most about the video. If you'd like me to do similar videos in South Africa, where I go to restaurants and try different meals and then let you guys know how they taste like and if I think they are worth a try. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.